Macquarie. Thank you, Deputy Speaker, and it is an absolute privilege to have an opportunity to speak about the competency of this government. Those of us who sit on this side of the House and do the things we said we'd do. Uh, it is, uh, it's been not much more than a year, and in that time the Albanese government has delivered on so many of the things we committed to, and I'm not going to be able to touch on all of them during this short speech. But I just want those opposite to think about how different the world is, how different Australia is and how different the opportunity is for people because we've been able to competently deliver. Things like fee-free TAFE places. We set a target of 180,000 places. We've already exceeded that target and 214,000 enrolments have taken place. That's 214,000 people who have an opportunity for a totally different career and life. We've created opportunities. We've delivered more university places along with more TAFE places. We've also made life easier for a whole group of people who have chronic illnesses. We've delivered cheaper medicines in, in multiple tranches, including the most recent, uh, where people can get two lots of their script in, in one go. Now, that might not seem a lot for those opposite, but for people who have a long-term, ongoing chronic illness and require sometimes multiple medications, that's a huge saving. We've also delivered funds to support GPs. In my electorate, uh, there, there are 14 GPs who have received additional support to be able to uh, expand their practice and, and build their practices up, and I'll have more to say about that in, in coming days. Really significantly, we have delivered action on climate change. Have we fixed it? Well, no. The sorts of things that people those opposite want to see as instant fixes. They were too scared to even try. They had no belief in the need for transition. And we know that the journey is not necessarily going to be smooth in every step of the way. But we are acting and starting to deliver those changes. Uh, I think for many people, Deputy Speaker, the action that we're taking on climate change has been uh, gave them just a huge sense of relief that Australia is not back in the dark ages, that Australia is part of a world that recognises how urgent and necessary action on climate change is. We've also delivered aged care reforms that were recommended to the previous government, but they failed to even be able to contemplate. They were the incompetent ones, the ones unable to look at an issue, determine the problems and move forward with solutions. But we've been able to deliver a whole raft of aged care changes, 24-7 nurses, which are operating in almost every aged care facility now, extra minutes of care for each resident of aged care, a pay rise for aged care workers, an incredible difference from before we were elected to now a bit more than a year on. And today, of course, we delivered on a commitment to more housing. We delivered the, the legislation that we passed through this place today will have a tangible benefit to Macquarie, where there'll be more accommodation for women fleeing domestic violence. And at a local level, we're a government that's delivering on improvements to mental health, like the Headspace and the Head to Health that will open in my electorate before the end of the year. It took those opposite nine years to do what? Absolutely nothing to improve the mental health access for people in the Hawkesbury. We've also made improvements and delivered on disaster assistance and preparation. And I'm very proud to say that at the start of what could be a very challenging fire season, I go into that knowing that at a federal level we have listened and we have taken action to be better prepared. And, and I want to finish, Deputy Speaker, uh, with talking about why we hope on October the 14th we'll, we will see the Australian people's support uh, recognition of Aboriginal and, and Torres Strait Islanders in the, in the Constitution and a voice. Because what no parliament has done is deliver on closing the gap, not effectively. The gaps are still too wide. Uh, there are 
are too many people experiencing disadvantage, shorter life expectancy, poorer educational outcomes. And what October the 14th gives us is an opportunity to change that trajectory. It's an opportunity to say yes.